Fact and Opinion, What Engineering Students Need to Know Engineers communicate a lot of information. Specifications, client needs, design ordinances, lab results, costs, schedules, specifications, regulations, calculations, and other documents that are full of facts. And the list goes on and on. Engineers must also communicate opinions. For professionals, distinguishing between the two is critical. A fact is a statement about reality. A fact is not a fact unless you can provide evidence that it is accurate. Therefore, facts are most believable when you cite their source. For example, according to USA Today, the high temperature record for Texas was set in 1936. All right, so you notice we've got our we've got our source, we've got a claim, we've got a date, we've got a location. You should be able to verify this fact. Example, a recent issue of Washington Monthly, there's the source, ranked Texas A&M second in the nation based on social mobility, research, and service. And here's the link. Again, this is an, this is an easily verifiable fact. Secure rock glass mat sheathing should only be installed on wood or steel framing. And again, we've got the name of a product, we've got a specific claim of fact, we've got a title of the document, and we've got a URL for checking. These are all facts. But engineers must also communicate opinions. An opinion is a thought, feeling, or claim that isn't supported by evidence. An opinion often is developed and evaluated based on personal knowledge, experience, and beliefs. So for instance, bicycles are the best way to get around College Station. All right, obviously best way is what is what makes the most uh, out of this opinion here there's no way to verify this as a fact uh, clearly it's a personal opinion civil engineers spend a great deal of their professional time writing great deal is kind of a vague statement uh, professional time might or might not be something that gives you problems again this is obviously an opinion Texas A&M University is a top-notch school uh, again, this is clearly an opinion. No matter how much you want it to be a fact, it's an opinion. A professional opinion is a combination of fact and opinion, and professional engineers are experts who combine facts and opinions. The result is doubly useful. The client gets the raw information, a fact, and advice on what to do with that information, the opinion. Offering a useful combination of fact and opinion is what most professionals of any type are asked to do on a regular basis. As a young civil engineer, you must remember that most people have little knowledge concerning bridges, roadways, stormwater and sanitary sewers, foundations, or structures. Therefore, you will almost certainly be explaining to people what these system systems are and why they should care and what, in your opinion, should be done. For example, the local weather agencies are predicting record rainfall for next week. We need to talk about the construction schedule. All right, so we have a source, local weather agencies, and we have the prediction, right? For next week, there's a time element there. This is verifiable fact. This part, we need to talk about the construction, construction schedule, is clearly an opinion. The combination of the two is a useful piece of information. And this is a pretty long one. Bear with me. There are lead credits available for making use of public transportation. However, your proposed building site is too far from the nearest bus stop, and our talks with the city indicate they're not likely to build a new bus stop and modify the route anytime soon. So look, right here, already we have fact. We have a source, we have a claim, right, making use of public transportation, and then we have another fact, your proposed building site is too far from the nearest bus stop, and our talks with the city, and this is an opinion, indicate they're not likely to build a new bus stop. So that's an opinion, right? Right there. And modify the route anytime soon. We can qualify for a single lead credit by including bike racks and showering and changing facilities. Again, that is a fact. If you read the guidelines closely, you'll see there's no minimum requirement for using these facilities. Again, fact. Therefore, we can design the building. And here's our professional recommendation, right? This is what people are really paying you for, is that professional recommendation, which is a combination of fact 
and opinion. It is experience, knowledge, skill, and fact all rolled up into one. And that's what people are paying you for. So just remember, engineers really need to know the difference between fact and opinion. And when you're writing and speaking, you need to be attentive to whether you're using facts or opinions. And differentiating between fact and opinion when you're listening to someone is just as important as when you're the speaker or the writer. So, to review, facts are statements about reality and can be checked. Opinions are thoughts, feelings, or claims based on personal knowledge, experience, and beliefs. And professional opinions are a combination of both.